Real estate can be a good investment because its peace is unique and they can't make any more. Investing in real estate is a great way to make your money grow. There are a lot of different ways to invest in real estate, no matter what kind you want to do. You can be a very hands-on investor or a completely hands-off investor. In today's video, you'll get a real estate investing quick start guide. Hello everyone, welcome to Success Wisdom. In this video, we're going to talk about It's Time to Become Rich Real Estate Investing Quick Start Guide. If you're new to this channel, do like and subscribe to the channel. How to invest in real estate and what you need to know. Many new investors think that buying real estate is the best thing they can do with their money. Real estate, unlike stocks and bonds, can be touched and stood on no matter what the market is doing. Even if the market crashes, you still have a piece of the world that won't move. This gives a lot of investors a sense of security that they can get from other types of investments, even if they are backed by very real companies. A lot of people have the wrong idea that the value of real estate can only go up. This is not true at all. If a property falls into disrepair or if people stop going to an area, the value of your property could go down or even disappear. Unlike stocks, you have to take care of real estate, whether you do it yourself or hire someone. You also have to pay for insurance and taxes, even if you're not making a profit. Even in the worst of times, real estate tends to keep at least some of its value. However, this is by no means a sure thing. As with any kind of investment, it's important to know your real estate market, who your competitors are, who your potential clients are, and how much money your property could make. Most real estate investing isn't very exciting, but it can be a good way to balance out investments like stocks and cryptocurrencies that are more risky. When most people think of real estate investing, they think of buying a small rental property. However, there are many other ways to get into the real estate market. Each has risks and rewards, and many of them are unique ways to real estate investing quick start guide. Property Flipping Everyone knows about property flipping by now, but what you see on TV doesn't show the whole picture of what it takes to buy a house, fix it up, and sell it to someone who will love it. You'll need a lot of money to pay for labor and materials, as well as a reliable construction crew or subcontractors. You will probably also have to go through a number of inspections, all of which you must pass before you can sell your property. It is possible to get a construction loan, but it can be hard for a first-time flipper to get one because of the experience requirements and other rules set by the bank. But in the current real estate market, a flip that is priced right and will appraise for the asking price might not be on the market for very long. Be ready to fix anything else the buyer's inspector finds. No matter how many people work in a house, it will never be perfect. In the worst case, your newly flipped house could be turned into a rental. This isn't ideal, and it will take a lot longer to get your money back. But it can work if you can't find a buyer for the property. Sometimes, the market changes after you've already started the project, leaving you with no choice but to keep going. When you start flipping houses, you should always have a plan for getting out. Short-term rentals Short-term rentals are a great way to make a little extra money with extra houses or accessory dwelling units that you already have on your property. You can be very picky about who gets the keys to a place you rent out by the night or the week. You might also get a bigger return than you would with a normal residential lease. Make sure that the neighborhood where your short-term rental property is located allows this kind of transaction. Many homeowners associations and towns are against short-term rental landlords, and many have bond them outright. You also need to be great at customer service since guest reviews can tell you how popular your rental is. Investing in Land Land speculation is when you buy a piece of land with the plan of selling it whole or in parts. In some parts of the country, you can own land but sell the water rights or mineral rights to other businesses, like oil and gas companies or mining operations. Land speculation is often a short-term way to invest in real estate, but a smart investor who knows the needs of the industry they are in, oil and gas miners, farmers, home builders or commercial developers for example, can make a tidy profit by using the right land parcel at the right price at the right time. Land speculation is easy to do, but it can also be risky. 
You'll need to know exactly what benefits your land has for its market, how much it's worth now, and what it could be. You'll also need to pay professionals to keep track of all of this. Land speculation usually involves acting as a go-between for land sellers and land developers. This comes with a fair amount of risk, especially if people stop wanting to buy homes in your area. Remember that more was supposed to be built 20 years ago, but it's still just a patch of grass. Before we continue discussing the Real Estate Investing Quick Start Guide, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Commercial Real Estate Investing in commercial real estate can mean a lot of different things, depending on what you want to do. You could build a small storage unit or buy a few empty warehouses in an industrial park, a small building, or even an office building. Leasing each of these properties takes a different set of skills. But at the end of the day, commercial properties tend to be worth more than residential real estate and often bring in higher rents. Risks can be found in commercial real estate, but some types of real estate are hard to rent out when the market is bought. During the COVID-19 pandemic, for example, office rentals have been very hit or miss because some companies are sending their workers back to the office while others are still keeping their workers at home. On the other hand, when it comes to directly owned commercial real estate, it can't be rented fast enough. Having a good property manager or real estate agent on your side is very important. Commercial real estate is a good way to make money in many different ways. Small-scale residential rental properties Some people decide to invest in real estate by buying just a few small homes. You might want to start with a few houses or a duplex to get a feel for what it's like to be a hands-on landlord. Most very small landlords choose their own tenants and take care of repairs and evictions themselves. As your number of properties grows, it may be a good idea to hire a property manager. Early on though, the profit margins are probably too small for a manager to take on. Many of us are already familiar with the business of being a landlord because we've almost certainly rented something from someone at some point. That makes it a bit safer than, say, buying and selling land. But you'll also have to enforce your leases and keep the property in good shape. This could mean anything from collecting rents from tenants who don't want to pay to calling a plumber in a backhoe when a sewer line breaks on a Saturday at 3 a.m. Large-scale residential rental properties In general, you don't have to do much to run a large-scale rental property compared to a small residential rental. Most of the time, these are larger apartment buildings, housing communities, or even a portfolio of residential housing owned by a single person. If you don't have a lot of cash in hand, you will have to invest in these properties as part of a group. The group can be made up of a few friends with money to invest in or a company that lets you buy a piece of the development. Large residential rental portfolios can be a great way to start investing in real estate if you don't know anything about being a landlord or building. Pay close attention to the company that is managing the investment. They should have little debt, a cash cushion for the properties of keep, and clear goals for the future. Find out how long you have to keep your money invested before you can sell it. No matter what the market does, some groups will lock you in for a longer time than others. The Rights to Real Estate Investment Trusts You can buy shares in real estate investment trusts on the open market. Rights are traded in the same way that stocks are. Rights are almost as easy to sell as stocks, as long as you don't mind losing money. If you need to get your money out quickly, you won't have to worry about property management or other day-to-day -day issues with real estate investing. You should be concerned about the company's leadership and how their money is spent. Like with other fractional real estate investments, you want to make sure they have little debt, a good amount of equity they can use if the market goes down, and a long-term plan for their properties. REITs are very open and have to share a lot of information about their income and expenses. This makes them a great way for first-time real estate investors to diversify their portfolios with some real estate. Rights have the same risk as any other type of stock. The company could be to blame, or you could lose a lot of money because of how someone else run the business. Before you buy something, you should really look into the rights. There are different kinds of real estate investments for everyone. No matter what kind of investor you are, there is a type of real estate investment that will fit your needs perfectly. Want to do something with your hands? 
Want to try being a landlord or flipping houses, but want something you can set and forget? REITs might just be right for you. Before you put any money into a real estate investment, make sure you fully understand the terms, just like you would with any other type of investment. Real estate is a long-term investment, so it pays to make these choices carefully. We've reached the end of another video, and thank you for watching. I hope you'll learn the real estate investing quick start guide. If you like this video, do give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Thank you and goodbye.